welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now, as you probably know, I have a keen interest in those obscure radio products that not many people know about. And gone are the days of just the big gun manufacturers making ham radio products. We now have a multitude of choice and range of products on the market. However, some are pretty dire and not worth the money, but then we come across products that actually do what they're intended to do. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the KN990, which is an all-mode HF SDR transceiver. So this radio has been around since 2018, and from what I can gather, the firmware still gets updated when required. Now the radio hardware was designed by a fellow ham radio operator from China, whose call sign is Bravo Alpha 6 Bravo Foxtrot. And the software that's running is designed by someone called Droid Zhang. Now, I wasn't able to find out much information about these people, but let's dive into what this radio has to offer. Well, first off, it's SDR based, which instantly I find attractive. Not in that kind of way. The 3.5 inch color screen is not touchscreen, but instead is controlled by four buttons on the left side of the screen and five buttons underneath the screen. We also have a selection knob, volume knob, VFO knob, and a display and power button. Now the rear panel is pretty packed out with usable connections. We have an SO239 socket for the antenna, as well as an audio in and out via 3.5 mm headphone jack or an RCA Phono style connection. We have a USB-B port for connecting the radio to a computer, and this can be used for CAT control using the FT817 protocol, or it can also be used to upgrade the firmware. Now there is no audio in and out interface on this USB. There are also two USB sockets, which allow you to plug in a USB keyboard and a USB memory stick. These can be used to store screenshots or plug in a keyboard to activate that screenshot. There's also a feature for playing games, but I'm not really gonna talk about that. Now other connections include an ACC port for connecting to a linear amplifier, such as the KP990, and there's also an ATU port, which from the sounds of it would be to link to a KT style tuner. Now, unfortunately, I've not been able to find any information on the port pins, such as the wiring diagram as of yet. If any of you guys have that, please let me know. Now the speaker grill on the top of the radio is very clear, but underneath the radio, there's a couple of pull-out stands which raise the front of the radio for easier viewing on the display. I quite like that they've actually thought about it and put those in as standard. Mexico Zero Delta Queen Whiskey. Mike Zero Delta Queen Whiskey. Yeah, five nine uh, zero one four. One four order, Angel Tango for Fox. So as you can see there, working a station in Russia appeared to be quite easy, even amongst all that contest stations calling. Now the RF output power of this radio is only fifteen watts, which may sound a lot, but as demonstrated here, you do not need lots of power to work around the world. Now the antenna that I'm using here is my NFED half-wave antenna and if you're interested in this type of antenna then you'll find a dedicated video on this on how to construct it amongst one of my videos. And I'll leave a link in the comments below so it's easy to find. Now changing bands is really easy and quick using the up and down buttons and then fine tuning with the VFO. Also the SDR screen makes it easy to see live activity on the band. So let's take a listen to a couple more quick QSOs. And if you listen quite closely, you'll be able to tell that this has got an extremely quiet receiver and it produces some really outstanding audio. Mexico Zero Delta Queen Whiskey. Yeah, five nine zero two one. Zero two one, thank you. Cruise that India Bravo East America, India Bravo East America. It's hello, contest, India contest from Lima X three one Chicago. Mexico zero Delta Queen Whiskey. Mexico zero Delta question mark. 
Yes, it's Mexico Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Your 59029. Uh, Delta Quebec Whiskey, Queen Whiskey, QSL. Yeah, the call sign. Yeah, the call sign was Delta Quebec Whiskey, Delta Quebec Whiskey. Delta Queen Whiskey, is that right, Yeah, that's right, that's right, QSL. Okay, that and one of the core cool features on this radio is the ability to alter the IF span and the IF shift which is a feature we only really see on high-end radios. Now, the visual representation of this feature also makes it easy to understand and easy to use. Now the settings menu allows you to change things like RF power, you can set the date and time, auto modulation levels for each mode, and you can even set an SWR level before the transmitter will either shut down or reduce power. Now this is a great feature so that if you accidentally transmit into an untuned antenna and the SWR is high, the radio will protect itself from damage. Now you can turn this feature off, but I would highly recommend to leave it turned on. No good review video will be without at least some kind of tear down. So the top panel comes off by removing two screws at the front and two at the rear. Now lifting the top panel exposes the high quality made top board. There appears to be three boards altogether. The top board, as you can see here, which caters for the rear interface jacks. And then we have the main board underneath. And then we have a front panel board where the LCD is mounted. Our first impressions are that this looks extremely well engineered, leaving plenty of space for cooling and airflow. Now, one thing to know is that after my QSOs last weekend using this radio, it didn't even feel warm. So I think this radio runs pretty cool, although my overs were quite short. So it will be interesting to see how warm this gets with some longer QSOs. I am planning on taking this radio portable over the summer, so you never know, you might catch me on the air with it. So there we go guys, that's an overview of the KN990 all mode HF transceiver. Now I purchased this from Banggood, and if you want to get one for yourself, have a look at the link in the description, and there's also a promo code so you can get yourself a nice discount on it as well. Also, if you own one of these yourself, let me know how you've got on with it, because for me, I think it's a really good radio. It is on the tad expensive side for something which isn't big brand named, but it does what it says on the tin, which I think is really important when you're spending out money on a radio like this. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next one, take care, stay safe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and a massive thank you to all you members and patrons.